Joining us now for a guest fast pitch is Jennifer DeSisto, CIO at Anchor Capital Advisors. Jen, why do you like Ross? I'm very bullish about Ross for a number of reasons. Well, and, uh, take it away. I am bullish about Ross for a number of reasons. Uh, I think it's a great recovery stock, and it's starting to play out already. Um, they, uh, the Ross customer loves a bargain. They love the treasure hunt experience. And once the store started to reopen at the end of May, they came back and they started buying. And we started to see improve, gradual improvement in same-store sales from quarter to quarter to quarter. Uh, we also have seen Ross take market share from the department stores and the specialty retailers over the last five years. And with a number of bankruptcies and store closures in the retail space, we think Ross can continue to win in that space and take more market share. They're also opening new stores. And so we think that's another avenue of growth. We think that there could be up to 3,000 stores in the U.S. up from the 1,900 stores they currently have. And also, with all the bankruptcies and store closures that are happening in the retail space, there's a lot of merchandise available. Um, and the Ross buyers are finding great deals, passing it along to their customers, and that's helping their merchandising margins. You know, so we you think there's a great opportunity with Ross. The stock is trading um, below uh, the other off-price retailers, so we think there's room for it to catch up. Yeah, there, there, it's, it's not as though it is not... A, a space that has doesn't have competitors. I mean, because there's the TJX uh, competition, there's Kohl's, there are others in this space that that sort of compete. I, I, I don't I don't know much about what their merchandise is, but but tell me why they have a, um, a sweet spot here in this space uh, up against a world where department stores that we think are kind of fading away, whether it's Macy's, Bloomingdale's, uh, J.C. Penney, even Nordstrom, whatever, Dillard's. Yeah, they're, they have a great niche. I mean, I think the off-price segment is really benefiting from the treasure hunt experience. Uh, mm -hmm. Their customers come in a uh, number of times to come in and look at merchandise and buy merchandise. Um, they definitely benefit from that. They've been insulated from e-commerce um, wave, so a lot of retail sales have either migrated to e-commerce or they've migrated to off-price because people really do like to come in and, and find a deal and find um, find some interesting um, merchandise, either apparel, home goods, jewelry, accessories, and they can find all of that in uh, a Ross stores. And Ross is the you know second largest um, next to TJX, so we definitely think that there's room for it to grow. Okay, uh, th th I didn't know they were that they were quite that large. I'm, I'm very familiar with them. I've seen them all, all over. The place. Anybody on our panel tonight have a question uh, for for Jen, or or do you want to go straight to the voting? The voting. What do you, Karen? Go ahead. Go ahead, Karen. So are, I, I'm more familiar with TJX. Are these stores generally mall-based? Are they uh, where are, are they standalone? Where are these stores mostly? They're usually um, in retail shopping centers, much like a TJX is as well. Um, Ross started more on the West Coast and have moved east, whereas TJX and Burlington stores have started on the East Coast and are moving west. Um, so they're kind of they they have. Similar, um, similar merchandise, but they kind of go at different price points in their and targeting customers. All right, Jen, it is the time to vote. I am the official poll watcher here, everybody. I am not bribable. <laughs> I, it's going to be a transparent vote here. Let's start with Dan. Are you buying Jen's pitch on raw stores, yay or nay? Well, I'm going to be really nuanced here. I thought it was a really good pitch, and I'm buying her bullish thesis on the stock, but I'm just not buying it right here at $113. It definitely has underperformed TJX, which broke out of a long six, seven month range, just like Ross Storage just did, but it's made a new high. For some reason, Ross is kind of kind of stuck here in this little range. I think if you have an opportunity to buy this thing near that breakout level, um, right around 100, that's where I would set up for a move into 2021. <laughs> so we're just trying to be a little fast money, be a little trading here. I'm not buying it up here at the top end of this breakout range, but I think you have an but opportunity. Fundament fundamentally, you like the you pitch would. that Jen made. You, you, you get the case. You get I do like the case. pitch. I don't love the fact that they want to that they want to like, increase their stores 25, 30% or something like that. I just don't think that's where we are in America. I think we're pretty 
pretty <laughs> overstored. Yeah, I think I we're like overstored too. I, that, that was a, that was a, uh, um, Karen. What do you say? Yeah. I like the pitch. I have a buy. I mean, I like TJX. It does a lot of the same things as TJX, and so it would be hard to not like it. And Gee? Are you able to read my smart board, Tyler? Could you read that, please? <laughs> Ross is less than Rachel, however. Yes, that's true. That's true. Okay. However, Ross Stores is going to 122. I like her power pitch. If you go to the quarter, the third quarter on November 20th, Inventories are down 25% year over year. That augurs well for margins going forward. Just about every analyst that covered the stock, I think, raised their price target somewhere between 120 and 135. I think it goes higher from here. Tim. Tyler, you remember Marion Ross. She was Mrs. Cunningham on Happy Days, and therefore the Fonz would give <laughs> Jen's pitch a thumbs up. Wow, I uh, love I'm the, a buyer. I'm a buyer. The baseballs Ross and Thank thumbs you. and. and uh, <laughs> this is really good. The traders, Jen, have spoken. You get a chance for a quick rejoinder here if you're still with us. Are you gone? Yeah, I think Ross is a great story. It's a, it's a long-term compounder, and we love it in client portfolios. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.